If your soil feels lifeless, your plants look tired, or fertilizers don't seem to make much difference anymore, the secret might not be more chemicals, but more life. Healthy gardens thrive on invisible workers, beneficial microbes that transform waste into plant food, protect roots from disease, and boost growth in ways no synthetic fertilizer can ever match. The fastest way to bring these tiny allies into action is through a homemade fermented plant and food waste solution that turns scraps into a supercharged microbial army. And the best part, you can brew it right at home with simple ingredients. Why fermentation is a game changer for soil. When you ferment organic material, you're not just breaking it down, you're cultivating living microorganisms that multiply by the billions. These microbes unlock nutrients in your soil, making them available for your plants to absorb immediately. They also improve soil texture, suppress harmful pathogens, and create a thriving underground ecosystem. Instead of relying on expensive store-bought inputs, fermentation allows you to produce a living fertilizer that continually feeds your soil. It's like brewing a probiotic drink for your garden. Ingredients you need for the fermented solution. To get started, you only need a few items that are either already in your kitchen or easy to find. The base comes from kitchen scraps that still hold nutrient value, combined with sugar and water to feed the microbes. You can also include plant materials rich in minerals. Here's the exact formula for a simple yet powerful fermentation brew. One kilogram of chopped kitchen waste, such as fruit peels, vegetable scraps or leafy greens, one kilogram of brown sugar or molasses to act as the food source for microbes, three liters of clean non-chlorinated water. This ratio ensures the right balance of nutrients, sugars and moisture to kickstart fermentation. The sugar doesn't just preserve the mixture, it creates the perfect environment for beneficial bacteria and fungi to multiply rapidly. All right, let's talk about how to prepare the fermentation mixture. First, start by chopping your kitchen scraps into small pieces. The smaller the pieces, the faster they'll break down, you know. Next, place them into a clean, airtight plastic container or bucket. Add your sugar, then pour in the water. Now give it a good stir until the sugar dissolves completely and all the scraps are nicely submerged. It's important, really, to cover the container tightly because this process is anaerobic, which means it thrives without air. If air sneaks in, you might end up with unwanted moulds. Once you've got it sealed, keep the container in a cool, shaded place for 7 to 14 days. During this time, natural microbes will feed on the sugar and scraps, producing a fragrant, slightly sweet-smelling liquid that's just teeming with beneficial organisms. Now, let's look at the signs your fermentation is successful. You'll know your microbe army is ready when the mixture produces bubbles during those first few days. This bubbling is the sign of active microbial life, plain and simple. By the end of the fermentation period, the liquid should have a mild, fruity or yeasty smell, not foul or rotten. A strong, putrid odour usually means too much air got in or the scraps weren't balanced with enough sugar. In that case, just adjust the sugar and restart. So, how do you use the fermented microbial solution? Well, once your fermentation is complete, you'll want to strain out the solid pieces and store that liquid in a clean plastic bottle. Now, this concentrated solution is uh, really powerful, so it's important to dilute it before applying it to your garden. Just mix 30 milliliters, about two tablespoons, of the fermented liquid with one liter of water. And if you've got a larger garden, you can scale this up to 300 milliliters in 10 liters of water. You'll want to apply the diluted solution directly to the soil around your plants about once every two weeks. You can also use it as a foliar spray by filling a sprayer with that same diluted mix and spraying it onto the leaves, ideally in the early morning or late afternoon. When sprayed on leaves, these microbes actually form a protective shield that helps ward off pests and diseases while also delivering nutrients straight through the leaf surfaces.
So, what benefits can you expect to see in your garden? Well, the effects of this fermented solution are often visible within just a few weeks. Plants start to develop greener, healthier leaves thanks to all those readily available nutrients. Root systems grow stronger, which helps your crops access water and minerals more efficiently. You'll notice flowers blooming more abundantly and fruiting plants like tomatoes, peppers and cucumbers producing bigger, tastier harvests. Another remarkable benefit is soil revival. If you've struggled with compacted, tired soil, regular applications of the fermented solution will loosen its structure. Microbes create organic acids and enzymes that break down hard particles, improving aeration and water retention. Over time, your soil becomes alive again, dark, crumbly and rich with activity. Turning waste into wealth. One of the most satisfying parts of this process is knowing that you're not just feeding your plants, but also reducing waste. Kitchen scraps that might otherwise end up in the trash or compost pile now serve a higher purpose by being transformed into plant fuel. The cycle is both economical and sustainable. You're cutting costs on fertilizers while producing a renewable supply of liquid fertilizer that grows stronger with each batch. Tips for success with fermented garden solutions. Consistency is key. Make fresh batches every month so you always have a supply of the microbe solution on hand. Rotate the types of scraps you use to give your garden a wider range of nutrients. For example, fruit peels provide potassium, leafy greens offer nitrogen and eggshells crushed before fermentation contribute calcium. Always dilute before use, as the concentrated liquid can be too strong for young plants. Also, you know, avoid over-application. Once every two weeks is plenty to keep soil biology thriving. And remember to store your finished solution in a cool, shaded area to preserve microbial activity. So, why does this method work better than chemical fertilizers? Well, chemical fertilizers might give your plants an instant nutrient boost, but they just don't build up long-term soil health, you know? In fact, using chemicals over and over often kills off those helpful microbes in the soil, and then you end up relying on more and more external inputs. Fermentation, on the other hand, actually builds a living soil system that keeps regenerating itself. Your plants start to thrive in harmony with the whole ecosystem under the surface. And over time, you'll need fewer outside products. This is exactly why so many experienced gardeners and even farmers are turning back to these microbial solutions. They really do offer resilience, sustainability, and, you know, some real cost savings too. Plus, you get healthier crops that are naturally more resistant to pests and diseases. Here's the thing. A natural path to abundant harvests starts with fermentation. Once you unlock its power, you'll never look at kitchen scraps the same way again. What seemed like waste before actually becomes the foundation for abundant harvests and fertile soil. Every batch of fermented liquid you make is one more step toward a thriving garden that almost takes care of itself, powered by an invisible army of microbes working around the clock. So, are you ready to give it a try? Go ahead and start your first batch today and just watch how quickly your soil and plants respond. And hey, if you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Growth Hub Central Crops and share this video with your fellow gardeners. Together, we can grow stronger, healthier gardens, all powered by nature itself.